Hey everybody, this is Tazlon, and I'm here today to talk to you about an important aspect of maintaining your vehicle. Um, in this case, it's geared toward people who have bought a V4 air intake from Euro Compulsion, but it really applies to everybody with a car because you all have air intakes and you all have filters that need to be cleaned or, or replaced and uh, switched out periodically. Now, if you have somebody change your oil for you, chances are the garage will check your air filter when they change your oil because it's a great way to upsell you a couple extra dollars, but they aren't ripping you off. Air filters are very important. Think, think about it this way. We just went through the Winter Olympics, right? Think about how all those performances would have gone, especially the athletes participating in aerobic type events, if they would have been required to wear a face mask while they were competing their airflow would have been restricted and they would have gotten tighter a lot quicker. They wouldn't have been able to perform at that same world-class level. Well, this is very synonymous with what happens with your car. If you allow your air filter to get dirty, it's pretty much like putting a mask on your face. You can't get enough air in your body to perform properly. The engine can't get enough air into the engine to perform properly. So it's an important thing to keep clean general consensus on this is every time you change your oil clean your filter check at least check it these canister filters you just clean the stock oem filters check and see if they're dirty enough to require you to replace them if you change your oil yourself you need to check it yourself again if you go to an oil change store or your fiat dealer or something like that most likely they will check for you if you want to be certain ask them to check and tell you if it needs to be replaced it's something you can really do yourself, but I know some of you don't just want somebody else to do it all for you. So, here's what I'm talking about on our cars. Saxy and Itsy. Now these have both had them just replaced, but I'm going to show you the whole process. Actually, I took them off and cleaned them. Here's Saxy with the Euro Compulsion V4. And here is Itsy with her Euro Compulsion V4. These were both cleaned either yesterday or today. Now I have a third one. I have a third canister. This is actually the original canister off Saxon. The reason I have a third is when you clean these type of filters, after you clean them, you want to let them sit and dry for about 45 minutes to an hour, get the moisture out of them. And so I have a third one just in case I'm cleaning and we have to go somewhere. I, I can let this one sit and dry while I have the, the other clean one in. So I can just rotate them around Robin and always have a spare so that I never have really any downtime except for the actual time I spent replacing the filter. Um, these are a little different than most because you don't need to oil these. These are made of a material that you stay dry. You don't need to oil it to get the filtration, the proper filtration. So it's a little bit easier to do. Okay. Let's see if we can look inside in the sun here and see what this looks like inside. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but you can see there's an orange cone down in there. And you see the filter element around the outside of it. Over from the other side, whoa, it's a lot different looking. You can see this is still wet because I just cleaned the inside of it. And you don't see that filter element. This is the turbo side. This is the, the ram air side. Let's get started. All you need, flathead screwdriver. And, very simple, two screws. We just loosen up these. Well, I came off over there, okay. So to clean the filter, we're going to want, let's see if I can get me in the picture. To clean the filter, we're going to want warm, soapy water. So I just use it using the snake 
commencé. I get it warm. And I'm gonna put the plug in so you can see how dirty the water is coming out of here. Now I don't really know how long it's been since this filter got cleaned because it's we bought this car used. And I don't know if they've cleaned it ever. So right now the water down here is clean. <laughs> Just wait. You want to do most of the cleaning the opposite way the air comes in, right? So the air is coming in this way, which means most of the dirt should be on this side of the filter. So we're going to run water in from the other end. And you're going to see how dirty this water gets here in a second. I'm going to add soap in a little bit. I'm just rinsing it off right now. You can run it in this way too, but you don't want to do as much this way. That's just time to get it loose. Okay. So you can already see the mess we're getting out of it. I'm going to add a little dishwasher detergent. I'm just going to squirt some down in it. You can make soapy water and do it with a spray bottle. But I've discovered that just spraying some dishwasher detergent in it and get it soapy all inside works great. Especially if it gets that oil out of there. So I'm going to drain this water out. You can see I have soap in it. And fill this back in. I also want to take this and and get some of the outside because it has it has some oil on it. Of course with these turbos it isn't completely unexpected. And this degreaser and the dishwashing detergent is great for getting rid of this layer of oil. This little film of it. So I do it like I'm making a cocktail. Hold my hand over the bottom, put some in here, I just shake it up and down. Now this side shouldn't have the most dirt. This side away from the arrow should because that's the intake side. So I want to make sure I do that really well too. And you'll see if you look in it, you'll find all kinds of dirt and debris and sand and stuff. Now you can take towards the end and just go down inside here. Spray it all around, get it nice and rinse. Both sides. You don't want to use like an air compressor because you just want to use low pressure only. High pressure water will tear up the filter. So like the dish snake here, not very high pressure, not going to hurt it. You hook it up to a the sprayer in your garage and you may put more pressure on the filter than it's capable of handling. Now let's look at this again. See how our water is looking? And you can see, we got almost completely air, clear water. There's still a little bit of discoloration, but not very much. So, this one's ready to use again. If we didn't have the air bubbles down in there, it would be almost clear water. So, Let's see if we can see what we have here. I don't know if the light will be bright enough to see. Here you can see the edge of it. And you can see this is completely clean. There's no debris, there's no dirt, there's no sand, and there's no oil. So, what I will do now is wipe the water off the camera. And then we're gonna take this out, set it in the sun, and let it dry. And if I only had one, and I was going to reinstall it right away. If I only had one and I was going to reinstall it right away, then this would be ready to go in about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm just going to set it up here where it can drain out. Maybe I won't set it up there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to put the clean filter on. 
and you can see they are nice enough to give you an orange arrow for the direction of airflow. That side will go towards the turbo. So we're just going to slip the end on here, slip the other end on. And tighten it down. Okay, that ends secure. Now to do this side and not tip over my camera. If I can't. Okay, so there you go. Remember, if you have one of these Euro Compulsion V4 type intakes or any other kind of aftermarket intake, clean it every time you change your oil. If you have a stock filter, at a minimum, every time you have the oil changed, have it checked whether you do it yourself or have the shop do it to see if it's dirty enough to require to be switched out. And if needed, plop in a new one. Easy to do easy to overlook and it's something that's very insidious insidious in effect as dirt and grime builds up on your filter the performance reduction will be so slow and innocuous you won't even notice it and then after like a year and a half you go oh my god i haven't cleaned my filter and you'll change it and clean it and it'll be like whoa this car is more powerful than i thought it was it really does affect the performance of your motor so every time you change your oil clean the filter you just saw how to do it it's something as long as you have a flathead screwdriver and dishwasher soap you can do yourself you don't need to buy a new one every time even your compulsion will tell you hey you can clean these by the way everything i said in this video is direct advice on how to do it from your compulsion themselves I talked to him on the phone, sent him a couple emails. This is all just echoing advice from people at Euro Compulsion who own these intakes and do it themselves on their own vehicles. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe down there, wherever the button is. And come buy our t-shirt shop. Buy a t-shirt. Have a good day, y'all.